today what I want to cover is one of the things that might be holding us back from making more sales if we find that we talk to a lot of people, but they're not jumping for joy around buying what we sell. Maybe they hesitate, they have to think about it, or they have to really see if it's worth the money that you're charging for it. And you just wish that. Why, why can't they see the way that you see it? Because you've worked on it, you've, you've developed a product or service, and you know it's there to solve the problems. And if you're a listener to Selling with Love, I know that you're trying to offer so much more value than what you're asking for them to pay. So shouldn't it be obvious to them to be able to know that you're there to help them, to serve them, to solve their problems, bring solutions? And what we fail to recognize is not everyone is spending their entire day obsessed about the specific solution that you bring, right? Like we are so aware of what we offer, what it does for people. And we're in a generation where most people are listening to TikTok videos or Instagram reels and our attention span is so limited that any amount of effort that requires us to go into thinking about it or prioritizing to think about it is a decision that we decide to push for later. Have you noticed that on conversations, people are just like, oh, I'm going to think about it. And it doesn't seem like they get it, right? So what can we do about it? What is something that we can do so that when we're actually presenting our offer, maybe the people have asked to receive a PDF or more information about your offer. So what is the information we're actually giving them? And is it helping them to make a decision? Here's a mistake that a lot of us might do. I've done this many times as well, so I'm not innocent. Uh, and we're all in this together. So listen, if you've ever found yourself when somebody's asking for more information and they're trying to justify the price point of what you offer, that we start really describing exactly what we do, it'll sound something like this. Being like, oh yeah, so with what I do, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work together and we'll do, you know, we'll spend two hours together. And then, you know, every single week we'll get a chance to spend X amount of hours, which means you'll be getting all these types of time and, and we'll, we'll be, you'll get access to this platform and then there'll be that and this and that. What we're basically doing here is we're trying to justify our cost or the price by iterating everything that costs us money. All right? Let me say that again. We're trying to justify our price based on everything that's a cost to us. And so now it gets the client to try to look at everything you're doing and try to understand if it's worth it to them based on your cost, right? And if you're in that mindset, we've probably missed the boat. We've probably not been looking at the right thing because we should be thinking about the problem we're solving and the value we provide. Most of the time, when I've gotten this right, the person won't even care about the specific number of hours or the specific sessions. They're just going to want to care about will you actually bring the result that you've promised. And so if that conversation is not even happening, perhaps it's not even clear what the results you bring. So we have to go to the drawing board. And the step I want to make sure that you get to take as an action from this conversation is to make sure you have a list of problems. Not your problems, the problems the client is facing. In the Selling with Love methodology, we talk about how to love the client. And one of the ways to love them is to understand them. And one of the things you need to be so good at understanding is what are the problems that they face. And what I'd ex suggest for you to do, if you're listening to this podcast and you're looking for some ideas on a little task that you can do that can yield massive results, is making a list of all the problems that your prospect faces that your solution in some way will look to address. And it'll be very interesting once you start making that list that you get to start prioritizing them in, in importance and you get to see how your solution actually takes that problem away. And you have to ask yourself, to what degree of certainty will that problem be gone once they work with you? I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my first things I ever sold was actually a one-on-one uh, -on -one uh, coaching program. And when I did that, I told people we'd have weekly conversations, we talk about their sales blocks and help them overcome it. This was nice, made a couple sales, but it really didn't resolve the real problem that were happening, right? The real problems that were happening is they weren't getting enough sales. The products and services were not actually moving off the shelf. They couldn't get clients and there was they couldn't do the content marketing, they couldn't do the social media, they couldn't do the podcast they've always wanted to start. The long story short was that they've always wanted to be an expert and they couldn't seem to become that expert because all of these sales activities that needed to be done, all these marketing activities that needed to be done were just not being done properly. And so even if I would work with them 
support them, coach them, there was still a likelihood that a lot of these activities wouldn't happen. Sure, there was a bit more accountability, there was a bit more support, but they still had to take initiative, they still had to do stuff themselves. And quite frankly, I realized that I wasn't charging that much for this type of service, and it shouldn't have been offered for that much money because it didn't have that degree of certainty in the way that it would solve their problems. Once I made that list of understanding exactly all the problems that they had, I was able to craft an offer that was way more compelling that truly went to solve all their problems and sell it for such a higher premium. So as such, I said, imagine a world where you would have no problems with your marketing, no problem with your sales, and you get to focus on just being the expert that you want to be. If you've seen those people that speak on stage in front of thousands and they just seem to shine, be expert at what they do, they do coaching like Tony Robbins and they do interventions, they're amazing at it. And you look at them and they don't even know how to work a computer or how to do any of the sales and marketing stuff that we're so obsessed about when we seem to get started. Well, what if we could do all of that for you so you just get to show up as the expert? And as such, we can take care of your videos. We can edit everything, give you the ideas, give you the scripts, you just show up as the expert. We'll take care of your email and your marketing. We'll, we'll give you the prompts. We'll give you the emails that to write. We'll, we'll ask you for your ideas and you just be the expert. If you want to do any kind of website, we'll build a website. We'll build a brand kit. We'll get everything done so you just be the expert. See, that became a much more compelling offer. And it was very exciting to start reverse engineering what did I need to put in place so I could offer such a thing and still be profitable. And the margins were great. The problems were solved. And I got to leverage my existing team as well. So this is my invitation to you. Whatever it is that you're selling, whatever it is that you're offering, you might have heard a lot of people saying you get to, you have to go and sell high ticket offers. Well, the only way to sell very, very expensive packages is if they are truly solving the problems with a high degree of reliability that it will actually solve the problems for the people. And so once you've made that list of problems, take a step back and start looking at what you offer and how much does it strongly for sure solve that problem. You might need to go back to the drawing board. You might need to innovate a little, but I promise you that once you start building something that's truly geared to be a problem solver for your clients, and you know that the real value that they're going to get from taking advantage of what you've put together and you can price it just above your costs, you will be well on your way to start getting success stories, building more clientele, building up your reputation, getting more case studies, and now the probability of you solving their problem goes up because you've become a reliable deliverer of product and services. And that's the place that you wanna be. If you are not there yet, well, perhaps it's time to do that drawing board exercise, make a list of the problems, find the solutions. And hey, if you're part of the Selling with Love community, I'd love to know more about what is it that you do. If you want to have some support, some coaching, we have some team here that'll go and review whatever is the problems you solve, and we'll give you some feedback on the solution you offer. So be sure to join facebook.com forward slash group forward slash selling with love. We'd love to see you a part of the community. And as always, keep selling with love.